right, so we are now going to do experiment four. And so we're going to do part A of the experiment, and part A of the experiment is going to be using two samples of pennies. We have pre-1982 pennies, and we have post-1982 pennies. These are a representation of isotopes to be able to determine the masses and to be able to calculate their weighted average. So pre-1982 pennies and post-1982 pennies, what we're going to notice is they have different weights, and that's why it's a good representation of an isotope. So the first part that we need to do is we're going to take the mass of 10 pre-1982 pennies. So we'll make sure our balance is zero, so it's reading zero, and now we're going to count out 10 pennies. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, need one more, 10 pennies. So we will add this to our balance. And our mass is 30.9118 grams. Okay. So now we're going to take the mass of 10 post-1980 pennies. So let me remove these pennies. So now we're going to take our post and we're going to get the mass of 10 of these. So let's count out 10. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. We'll add this to our balance. And our mass is 24.9630 grams. Okay. Now you're going to use these masses to do the calculations. And then the last part that's actually measured is we're going to take the mass of our pennium sample. And so the mass of our pennium sample is going to be made up of a mixture of the pre and the post 1982 pennies. So we will take seven, seven of our post and three of our pre. So this is going to make up our pennium sample. So it's a combination of both of the types of pennies that are representing our isotope. So we'll now take the mass. And our mass is 26.7304 grams. Okay. And that's what the end of part A.